It is the 1st of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. But we're going to start with EarthChangesScott.net. Tonight, uh, two earthquakes hit China in southwest and northwest. No injuries were reported. Uh, according to the ESG, USGS, uh, we had a 5.5 and a 5.4. U.S. sinkhole swallows an 80-year-old man as he goes for the morning newspaper. The chasm may have been from an old well or cesspool, reports say. An 80-year-old man who went out to get his morning newspaper fell into an 8-foot sinkhole that opened up in his Long Island lawn. Uh, Michael Ciron was not seriously injured in his Sunday morning ordeal and even boasted that he managed to hang on to the papers, according to the news day. He yelled for his daughter who woke up and came to his aid by calling the police and firefighters to uh, his Oceanside home. Uh, Siron, who was wearing slippers, found himself stuck in wet, shifting sand. It was scary down there, he said. No kidding. But uh, that was pretty funny. He kept the paper in his hand. Uh, U.S. geologists closely monitoring surge in central Arkansas quakes. And again, this is uh, due to the fracking and uh, the unstable area that is the New Madrid Fault. And it's insane that they're getting gas out of that area. Canary Islands si signs of sex second eruption off of El Hero. Uh, now they're going in um, where they're saying uh, a second eruption could take place on the north side of the island. And uh, if you've been following uh, Mary Greeley's videos, uh, she's pretty much dead on. There are, there are several people that are saying, look at all the earthquakes, look at all the earthquakes. And uh, definitely getting some more volcanic activity on the opposite side of the island now. So both sides of the island are gearing up and um, venting. And the island's swelling, actually. And they found links to fungus to dropping bat population. Uh, this is the white noise mystery. Uh, they are uh, putting it in with a fungus um, due to uh, the lesions they're finding on the bats, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. A power restoration and snowy east could take days. And my heart goes out to you, Hartford, Connecticut. Residents across the northeast face the prospects of days without electricity or heat Monday after an early season storm dumped as much as 30 inches of wet, heavy snow that snapped trees and power lines, closed hundreds of schools, and disrupted plans for Halloween trick-or-treating. Yeah, it's a big mess. <clears throat> uh, especially when you get that early heavy wet snow and the leaves are still on the trees. Uh, they've got a big mess on their hands for sure. Rare snows, <laughs> they're calling it Snowtober. Rare Snowtober storm breaks local records. And again, it's just another record breaking year here in 2011. Powerful earthquake hits, hits off northeastern Taiwan. No reports of casualties or damage. And again, it's another 5.5. And uh, a mysterious virus threatens the salmon in the West. Now, apparently, a virus that devastated farm-raised salmon populations in the Atlantic may be appearing among wild fish in the Pacific, a potentially devastating threat to fisheries there. And uh, they go on to say there is no cure. And apparently this has jumped from farm fish to wild fish, and it's made its way all the way to the Pacific. And U.S. snowstorm causes power outages more than 600,000 in New Jersey affected. And they have videos, of course. Over to the extinction protocol. Scientists warn that half of Chile's active volcanoes could erupt in the near future. Uh, the Chilean authorities have kept the red alert on the south of the country due to Hudson Volcano's eruptive activity and also from the volcanic complex um, the big gash, I'm not going to slur the name. Although the Hudson, located in uh, Ison region, registers a minor eruption on the external, signs tend to fall. There are no magma movement inside the massive. And, uh, yeah, all the volcanoes are gearing up, and half of Chile's volcanoes are on red alert. World's most powerful laser to tear apart the vacuum of space. So apparently the hydrogen, the large hydrogen collider wasn't big enough for these guys. 
uh, they are going to make a laser uh, so powerful and they're going to pin that energy down into a pinpoint beam, uh, as much energy as the sun gives us kind of thing. And they're saying they're going to be able to prove uh, that there is more than just the vacuum in space. Uh, some, they're, they're trying to find the stuff that's in the vacuum of space that's moving too fast for them to uh, find any other way. My question is, is uh, they're going to pour billions and billions of dollars into this uh, when people are on the streets. It's insane. Where's the money go? Oh, we're broke, but they got money for this, right? Eurozone, Eurozone tremors start. $41 billion financial broker, MF Global, files for bankruptcy. And here it all crumbles, according to plan. And nearly $2 million without power after brutal storm hits the northeast, of course. Uh, reports out of Boston. And um, they've got a Soho film, another comet swallowed up by the sun. And uh, definitely you can see the comet flowing in pretty good on the video. And over to the RSOE. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, the flooding continues in Thailand, uh, flash floods in Tunisia, they're having some extensive torrential rains, um, some severe flooding for sure, cold wave in India, and uh, still getting reports of flash floods out of Spain, and uh, there was a nuclear event out of Pakistan, now according to the story, it's something, what I caught of it was uh, basically they they're, they caught some radioactivity from back in the Soviet area um, that, that was in their airspace. So I don't know what's from strip mining or what, uh, but they detected some um, extra radiation in the air, and that was what the nuclear event was about in their airspace. Uh, that's about it climate-wise. Now uh, over to uh, energy news just in. This is the nuclear stuff. University researcher. U.S. topsoil with up to 8,000 PCI kilograms of cesium from Fukushima, over 10,000% higher than the highest levels found by UC Berkeley. Now, this is out of California. Uh, they tested soil in Sacramento, Oakland, Alameda, San Diego, and Simona, and all of these levels are way above uh, what the, the official Berkeley numbers um, initially come out with. So definitely I'm going to provide a link to this below. Check it out. Um, if I missed anything, please let me know. I'm sure I have. Uh, enjoy what you can. Thanks for all your support, everybody.